Now for the action of the week. This is your homework, as usual. Did you do your homework last week, Matthew? Well, uh, I think the dog ate it. Oh. Uh, I don't have a dog. Very under- Your rabbit ate the it. Your rabbit ate it, <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure rabbits eat computers. <laughs> uh, right, so... And this, to tie up this, <laughs> I'm coming off. Uh, if you're if you're watching the videos, come go back and check the uh, the last report and experiment. You'll see that we didn't see that custom lead magnets worked as well as we hoped. But um, what I would say is that even if you're doing generic uh, pop ups, po- uh, like pop uh, g- generic lead magnets, like our how to podcast book, which you know applies to basically anything on our site, is uh, it's a uh, a lead magnet that will be at least semi-relevant to every single person that visits your site. Even if you're doing them, then A-B testing and experimenting with a lot of the variables around that pop-up is still well worth it. So this applies whether you're doing those custom lead magnets like we were trying out and found didn't work as well as they should have, or whether you're doing more generic uh, opt-ins, then this is still relevant. So what I want to do is recommend a few different types of A-B tests just to finish us off here. So you've already created an A-B test in, I think it was the second week or the first week we had to look to that. So you already tried out a couple of variations of headline. So I hope that gave you some insights into how different it can be. Like you can have one that's at 2% and one at 1% just through a few different words. It's amazing the difference it makes. So if you edited the headline last time around, try a few things. Here's some things that we found make a big difference. So image versus no image. You automatically think, well, I did, automatically think that having an image of the ebook or the download or the resource or whatever it is on the pop-up will make it look better because it looks a bit flashier, draw the eye. But actually, we tested it and a few of our pop-ups perform much better without an image. Just text, headline, text, and email box at the bottom. So try that. Try one pop-up with an image and the exact same text but without the image on another one and see how that affects it. Another one could be, um, obviously, try some more different headlines. So try four or five different headlines. Try really different variations, like really mix it up um, all sorts of different ways. I mean, you can go from anything from the total BuzzFeed style, like nine best ways to lose your hair or something. Uh, You know, the silly, like, uh, really... um, sort of hype worthy ones some of them actually work quite well it depends on the audience hugely but it's what all these these things are worth testing just to try them out Uh, another thing we found work uh in a way that wasn't expected was short text versus long text so i always assumed that if i was doing a pop-up i should try and cut the text down as much as possible because a big block of text is not going to work very well but i actually tried um same headline on two different pop-ups same image and just changed the body text. One was just one paragraph, one was about three or four paragraphs, given a bit more detail. And the long one won out by a long shot. That was actually one of the biggest differences we found. So long text versus short text. Again, it'll be totally audience dependent, but try it out, give it a go. So yeah, there's a few different ways. That's a few different things to try. Um, I mean, some people go to as much detail as like different colored buttons, different colored headlines, that kind of stuff. I think you're probably getting a bit too granular by that point. It's mainly about the content. So the image, the headline, the body text, maybe the button text actually as well. So what you put on the button itself can make a bit of a difference as well, whether that speaks to your audience or not and persuades them just to do that final click. So give that a shot. Try out as many different ones as you can. I tend to test maybe three or four at a time. So I'll have a campaign, I'll have an A-B test, which isn't just A or B, it'll be A, B, C or D. Uh, And then maybe I'll narrow it down to the two that are leading and let them run for another week and see which one wins out of them. So you can try more than just one at a time. Uh, and try them in different categories of your site as well to see what resonates in different areas because there'll be different types of people finding different categories and different sections of your site as well. So now that you've got that uh, system set up at least, I mean, it's 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 there, it's ready to use. Um, if you're still on Sumo Me, I hope you can use the new tests version. Uh, you'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll need to figure it out. I'm sure they'll have created some documentation by the time you come to it here. So I hope it's a bit clearer on how to use it by now. Um, but anyway, if there's one thing I've found out, it's the fact that, you know, you'll be told something by the gurus, you'll be read something on a website and they'll say it as if it's a universal truth, but it doesn't matter what anybody says online. Your, your audience is your audience, your audience is unique and you need to find out what resonates with them in terms of all the different variables of how you do your website. So I think that'll tie up the action and 
uh, I hope that has been a useful experiment to follow along with as well. I hope you've gone through the actions on the last uh, four or five episodes. I managed to get a few different things set up. If you didn't already do email at all, then hopefully that got you, <clears throat> got, excuse me, got you started. But um, even if you were doing a bit of email, hope the A-B tests have helped you out a little bit. Um, and I'd love to hear. So get in touch. Send us an email in to uh, info at thepodcasthost.com or you can tweet us at thepodcasthost on Twitter. I'd love to hear how it's working for you, whether you followed it along. Let me know the results and we'll see if it worked for you. <laughs>